Hi. Hi, YouTube. Hey. Um. Hey, YouTube. Hi. Well, uh, yes, another quick short update for me. Um, this time I wanted to update you <laughs> with uh, about my uh, new Japanese books. I got my order, my box from Japan, and I'm super happy about that. And I wanted to share with you what I got because, you know, it's been a while since uh, the last time that I got myself some books. Um, so I am really extremely excited. And I got another, another box on its way over here. So I will update you when the other one gets here. So uh, let's get started. Now the first book that I got is this one, this tiny one. Um, it's called Tadashiku Kakeru Tadashiku Tsukairu uh, Jugaku Kanji, which means um, using uh, writing and using kanji the right way. And now, why uh, there are plenty of books for learning uh, for learning kanji, but uh, I got this one because it's really hard to find books which are uh, written by Japanese for uh, for people, you know, over the elementary uh, school age. I don't know why, but it seems that you know the market is really flood, flooded with uh, books for shogakusei, for elementary school kids, but not for um, high school. So I saw this one and I knew that I had to get it, no matter what, and that's basically what I did. Now let me show you the book, the inside book. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yes, hopefully you can. Now this one has uh, the kanji and some reading, obviously. <laughs> And some example sentences for the kanji, and uh, and the uh, well, for uh, I think that here are the here is the writing order, and over here are the yes, and over here here are some common words with the kanji and some uh, example sentences which you can use. So it's basically kind of like a kanji dictionary, a really small kanji dictionary. And that's exactly what I don't like about it. It's really small, and I don't really like small books. I like them, you know, I like to have them open on my table and to really feel that, you know, they are there. Though this one is kind of, I don't know, the feeling is quite different. So I, I can't really define it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So with with that one, I got, my, I got myself the, the workbook. Uh, the same one, Kakitori Mondaishu. Uh, the questions collection. I'm not sure what's the term, what's the right term in English. So basically, what it is, it's like a really a workbook with a, with a, about the kanjis that you learn from here. Now, what I think for from you know for my really short. Uh, a short encounter with the book. I think that um, <laughs> this one, if, if you have this one, I think that this one is really uh, unnecessary because as you can see, you got the kanji. See, you've got the kanji and the reading and you got the uh, stroke order and some words. No, you don't get some words. I think that's the difference, but you do get some, some, one, some to, um, uh, <laughs> you, you get to practice writing and completing the kanji. So, and you also have this page with some, you know, just write down the appropriate kanji, the right kanji. So the book is basically all about that. Just, you know, just build in the same way, the same structure. And yeah, so I think this one, I think the little, the small one is unnecessary. Maybe it's not. I think that the only difference is that, you know, this one has some words, which this one doesn't. So, um, yeah, I got this one. And 
I also have, now this one I'm really excited about. I got this one. Uh, this was actually my reason for ordering the, the order. Uh, which is basically for correcting your own mistakes. What, now, from the, once again, I, I didn't really get to look at it, but from what I get is that, uh, you know, they have collected some really common mistakes uh, when uh, of reading and writing, and they just uh, instruct you how and what is the right way to use it, to use, the, to use them and how to avoid them. And if I get it right, you have to also correct some uh, you have to correct some sentences. Uh, once again, I can't really give you a detailed review. Uh, maybe I will one day if you want. Just leave me a comment. But basically, yeah, that's that's how it looks. You see. Once again, no, really, I can't really give you the full details because I just got it like about an hour ago, and that's the first time that I'm really, really getting. Uh, I'm really f uh, opening it, like, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I think that's going to be a really good book. Now, apart from those three and the other ones that I've got on my way, <laughs> I've got some reading books because, you know, reading is really important for you uh, because you don't really, I mean, I, you know that, you know, all of these are, like, Japanese um, language books, really workbooks and textbooks and whatever. But uh, after all, we're learning the language so we can use it. Now, I already t said that my, my own personal um, goal is not to speak Japanese. Uh, I mean, that could be a nice uh, bo bonus and I can speak some Japanese. But uh, for me, like reading and writing, that's the most important part because I don't really get to, to, to meet Japanese people around me. Not anymore, anyway. Um, so... I got the reading, some reading books so I can practice my reading and my kanjis and just just get myself some new Japanese books that I love. So uh, I got this one, which is uh, Shinri Gaku uh, no Subete ga Wakaru Hon, which is a book for understanding uh, all, everything about uh, psychology, which I'm really doubtful because I don't really think you can learn everything about psychology in one book. but. Uh, I think it's a good uh, introduction for psychology, which uh, I, I really like psychology and all those stuff. Now, that's what I love about Japanese books. Everything, everything is in color. Everything is in color and with pictures. And yeah, yeah, pictures, colors. I love that about the Japanese books. Now, this one is pretty heavy, but... Uh, think we're gonna spend some quality time together and apart from that I also got this one which I, I think that this is about like a really um, common subject in the high school uh, in the Japanese high school which something new about the uh, people Darika Darika me ao kazaku chichi kokumi no kizuna sekai to tsunagari. Basically, what it means, <laughs> what it basically means is that um, it's it's a book about uh, different uh, the world's uh, population, the world's cultures, different cultures, different people, and as you can see, this one is also really really. Uh, colorful and with lots of uh, nice pictures. Some of them are nice, some of them are not, obviously. And it has like furigana because it is it is meant for uh, high school kids. So yeah, this one I I think uh, I think that was a really smart decision of me to get this one because you know the size is great and the pictures and the colors. So that was basically it. That's that's like my impressions uh, from the books. Uh, if you want me to to do a really thorough, a more thorough review on them, 
just leave me a comment, send me a message, whatever. I would love to do that. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you around. Bye.